So, you want to create a SaaS and all you need is a great idea. Obviously, you also need a sales team, a customer support team, marketing team, operations and business, development, security and legal, and wait a minute. What if I don't want to manage any of this? Can you still build a SaaS? Just you? Absolutely. These people are called indie creators and they build so-called micro SaaS. They do everything themselves and their team consists of one single person, the founder itself. In this video, I'll give you five SaaS ideas that you can build as a solo founder, including examples from the real world. And we're gonna discuss the pros and cons of building this way. Some of these might not be what you expected. Let's go. The first idea, building a tool on top of ChatGPT. AI is all over the place right now. It's the most trending topic of 2023 and it's an obvious opportunity to build a small tool that extends the functionality of ChatGPT itself. Check this out. Gatsby has created a version of ChatGPT that features a much nicer UI, the ability to organize your chats in projects and folders and a library of AI characters ready to use. They also have a Chrome extension and a lot of other things. Super cool. A tool similar to this is Typing Mind, which also features a whole lot of extensions to the regular ChatGPT interface. And here's the interesting part. Both of these tools require you to bring your own API key from OpenAI. So they're not paying for the AI usage. They simply offer a much more convenient and feature-rich interface for their users. And I know what you're thinking. Why would people pay for this if they still have to pay for their own AI usage through OpenAI? Well, as it turns out, people are happy to. Both Gatsby and Typing Mind sell as lifetime deals and Tony, the creator of Typing Mind, already made tens of thousands of dollars on this tool. And it's literally only a few months old. When you pay OpenAI per token through their API, it's actually quite cheap. So unless you're using AI a lot, probably you won't ever spend $20 per month, which is the current price of ChatGPT+. So for most users, there's actually money to be saved here and you get a much more feature-rich interface. So there's your idea. Bring your own ChatGPT-like interface to market and give it your specific twist. And this idea is no-code friendly. You can totally build an interface like this in a no-code tool like Webflow, Framer, or bubble and then consume ChatGPT's ABI directly from the client. I think there's still plenty of room in this market and a lot of money to be made. So I just got rid of my entire team. No people on a payroll, no leading and managing anyone. I have close to zero responsibilities now and my startup is way less risky for me to run. But when I gave up one type of risk, I'm now dealing with something else. These guys. Of course, I'm referring to platform risk. The most realistic way to get a product to market as a solo founder is to build on top of existing tools and technologies. But we have to face it. The trade-off from building these kinds of products is that we're gonna be dependent on other platforms. That comes with risk. When we're building on top of ChatGPT, there's a legitimate chance that OpenAI will roll a similar feature themselves, which might render your service useless. In fact, in one of my previous videos, I'm showing you how to validate a SaaS idea. And the idea I used in this video was an AI prompt designer. And there you go. This is now a plugin directly available from ChatGPT. The good news is that if that happens, we're just gonna build something new. We're a one-man team. It's much easier to just go with the flow. Sorry guys, you're not coming back. All right, here's idea number two. Building a SaaS on top of Notion. Notion is an incredible tool. Users all around the world love using it for note-taking, sharing information, project management, and everything in between. In fact, Notion has become so popular that people started building third-party tools on top of Notion, and some of them really add a tremendous amount of value on top of an already amazing tool. You can use Notion forms to create forms in Notion. You can use Q to schedule tweets from Notion. You can use Feather to publish blog posts from Notion. You can use Symbol to create entire websites in Notion. All of these tools are thriving, profitable SaaS tools and they're built by indie creators consisting of one or two person teams. There are a ton of opportunities here. In fact, there's one specific use case I want to share with you. My team and I recently moved to Notion and we're now using it for almost everything. 
internal weekend documentation, change logs, issue tickets for our support team, project management and tasks for our development team, asset library and thumbnail starters for this YouTube channel. Our content team even used it to plan and write our blog posts directly from Notion. But there was one thing that turned out to be disappointingly unsupported by Notion itself. Automation. Which, for us, resulted in this. A lot of cloud functions with custom code that uses Notion's API to do automation. And I actually know quite a lot of other teams who end up with this huge spaghetti of Zapier and Make in order to turn Notion into something highly operational. So here's the opportunity. Create an automation hub specifically for Notion. Design it to look and feel similar to Zapier or Make and offer a lot of ready-made integration plugins that can be composed to create custom automation workflows for Notion. I've been looking for this tool myself. Heck, I even considered building it. Needless to say, I would subscribe to this SaaS in a second. If you consider building this, please let me know in the comments. I would be happy to join as an early adopter. Of course, building Notion tools comes with exactly the same level of risks as we discussed before. Recently, Notion added both AI and their new projects. So perhaps we can expect them to also add automation? Who knows? Some of us were expecting this already a year ago and nothing really happened so far. I think building a tool that hooks up Notion with various other tools is a great micro SaaS opportunity. Now, let me just take a second to present the sponsor of this video, Feedive. Feedive is an AI powered social media management tool built by us. This is one of the SaaS products my team and I run. With Feedhive, you can do so much more than just schedule your posts. We have an integrated AI assistant that will help you write content for social media. It's also built on top of ChatGPT, but this one is specialized in creating content for social media and it has access to a lot of insider knowledge that our company has gathered in the past years. So not only will it help you write content, but it will also give you a performance prediction that indicates how well your post will do. And it uses AI to come up with suggestions that will make your post much more likely to go viral. We're using OpenAI's incredibly powerful models for this, but we have fine-tuned these models on millions of our own data points, so its ability to predict performance is really good. I used FeedHive to prepare posts for LinkedIn recently, and with a bit of guidance, I got this post to a prediction score of 89, and this post completely blew up. Of course, FeedHive's AI is not a guaranteed win every time, but for most people who aren't professional copywriters, it's really helpful in getting the delivery just right. Check out the description below. I've included a promo code that will give you 25% off for the entire first year of using FeedHive. Okay, let's take a look at an idea that doesn't require you to build anything on top of an existing tool. The catch is, it's quite technical. So the competitive advantage is that you're offering to solve a technical issue that's rather complex. So this one is for the more experienced software developers. An SSL certificate manager. Let me just give you a quick backstory. We're currently building LinkDrip, a no-code link engagement tool. As a part of this tool, a user can add their own custom domains to use as a proxy for the links you create with LinkDrip. And this part was painful to deal with. Even I, as an experienced software engineer, was struggling to get this working smoothly. Fortunately, I'm in a closed Discord group with some really smart people. One of them is Oliver Jumpers, who's a content creator in the tech space and a very experienced software engineer. He helped me get this service up and running and I was begging him to make this into a SaaS. But since he didn't want to jump on this one, I'm now bringing it to you. A service that can handle custom domains and SSL certificates, allowing other SaaS tools to offer white label and multi-tenant features without having to deal with the technicalities. It's pretty niche, but I really think there's a need here. And if you're a really hardcore software engineer, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to run a service like this as a solo founder. So, in no way is this one no-code friendly, but I think there's a great opportunity and I for one would subscribe in a second. Now, let's move on to something less technical and more oriented about learning. Here's the idea. An interactive learning platform for a specific niche. There are already a lot of platforms out there that offer courses. Some of them have quizzes and some have assignments that you can download. Though, 
countless studies have shown that we learn much more effectively by performing an action rather than simply reading or hearing someone explain something. So this idea is to use technology to provide learning material in a highly interactive and gamified way for a specific field of work. A great example of this is I Code This by Florian Pop. If you want to learn web development, you can sign up for I Code This and you will get a daily coding challenge that you need to solve. You solve the challenge directly inside the tool itself. And once you're done, you can see how other people solve their challenge. You can feature this work on your own profile, such as LinkedIn. And if you upgrade, you get access to learning paths and mentoring by professionals in a closed Discord group. I think there's a ton of potential in this space. You can make interactive learning platforms for marketing, copywriting, legal, data science, really any craft that takes place digitally. And if your tool becomes highly reputable, you can even consider issuing certificates that verify a certain level of knowledge and skills. And again, this is not building on top of any existing tool. And your competitive advantage in a tool like this becomes your expertise and your ability to create interactive learning content rather than solving something highly technical. All right. The last idea, and probably my favorite idea of all of these, is just on the border of what I would consider a micro SaaS, but it solves a huge problem. A low-code integration platform. So here's the problem. Every time we, as developers, need to integrate other services, we need to integrate the whole thing from scratch. If I want to have Facebook scheduling as a part of my service, I'll have to build the integration from scratch. If I want to support Slack, I'll have to build it from scratch. If I want to use any service that offers an API, I would have to build it from scratch. And so is everyone else. So you could build a low-code solution that lets you integrate with various APIs on the internet in a simple and standardized way. There are tools like Firebase and Superbase that solve this for authentication and databases. There are tools like Stripe that solve this for payments and subscriptions. We need a tool that can connect all kinds of third-party services through an elegant, standardized, low-code solution. We have tools like Zapier, Make, and If This Then That that solves this for no-code. But these tools are not always ideal when we're building our own products. A low-code solution, including a single JavaScript SDK I can use to integrate other services easily would be a killer product. And yes, we are back to building on top of other tools here. However, we do this in a much more diversified way, since the idea is to offer easy to connect integrations with a whole bunch of different tools. From a platform risk perspective, we're in a much better place here than if we build on top of a single tool like Notion or ChatGPT. Whether a tool like this can be built entirely by a single person? Perhaps, though I admit that this one is on the border. On the other hand, if you can pull this one off, you're sitting on a super powerful product. So if you're considering building any of these ideas, please let me know in the comments. I'm very interested in hearing more about it. Also, I get this question a lot, so I want to make something clear. In a video like this, I include different tools and different people that I believe are great case studies that we can learn from, but neither of them paid me anything or compensated me in any way to include them. In fact, they don't even know that I'm going to include them. Whenever I do include paid promotions in my videos, I always make it very clear that this is in fact a paid promotion. So whenever I mention a tool and I don't say that this is a paid promotion or sponsor, it's because it's not. Finally, if you got pumped up about this one, you should check out these seven AI SaaS ideas that you can build in 2023. Go ahead and watch that one right now. Also, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. I will see you soon for another video.